this k and q is constant 1 by x square if I integrate what I will get minus of 1 by x. So, that minus and ok we will write here. So, this minus and minus will take it first. So, it will become plus of 1 by x infinity to r. So, if I just calculate it further this is 1 by r minus 1 by infinity 1 by infinity is 0. So, what is the work done I am getting k q by r. So, what is this work done it is nothing but it is a potential in order to that is a total work done this work done will be the potential at a point p. How it will be because it is nothing but it is the amount of work done to bring a unit positive charge from infinity to this point. So, this work done in this case will be a potential. So, it will be V is equal to I hope you understood because we are taking a unit positive charge. So, it will be actual formula is what V is equal to work done upon the charge. So, here charge is a unit charge. So, it will be this expression. So, this is or you can write K is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught also you can write. So, we can say V is inversely proportional to the radius. So, this is called as a positive potential and the negative potential will be minus of k q by r. Okay, now, let us see a potential at any point due to an electric dipole. So, let us see at point A we have a minus q charge which are separated by a distance to A. Now, and this is a dipole system. Now, take any point then this is say your O. So, we are going to find out a potential at point P. So, let us now find out the potential at P due to this minus q charge and potential at a potential again at P due to this plus q charge. So, what it will be V of A is equal to k of minus q by A P. What is the distance between the point P and the charge? It is A P. Now, similarly we will find out the potential at P due to plus q charge. So, it will be we can just represent as V B. So, k q by what is the distance? B T. Now, what is the total potential? We will add the 2. Potential is a scalar quantity. We will just add it, see what we will get total. Will be equal to V A plus V B. Now, put the value, it will be minus k q by a p plus k q by b p. Now, further what we have to calculate is we will just see this a p and b p we have to calculate and suppose at point p which I am taking is suppose a making an angle theta with the dipole. So, what we will assume here? If we assume that the dipole is uh, very small and practically if you see the dipoles are quite small. So, we assume that extend this P o and drop a perpendicular from point B on P o and similarly drop a perpendicular from A on the extended line. So, what it will be? Suppose this is my perpendicular and similarly So, if you just see the two triangles are formed, so if you see here this A of course, I can name it M and P n just we are taking an approximation to calculate a P B. So, this P M will be equal to approximately equal to P B. Similarly, P A will be approximately equal to P n. So, now what is Pm? Let us calculate now Pm. So, for calculating Pm, you need what is this distance? This is R. 
So, this is P m will be equal to nothing but R minus O m and this O m and O n are equal. So, let us calculate this O m and O n first. O m is equal to O n. What it will be? Suppose this is a theta. So, you can write cos O m is equal to A n which is equal to A cos theta. So, now what is my A p? A p will be approximately equal to O n and what is my O n? Sorry, it is not O n, it is P n. I am very sorry, P n which is equal to what is P n? It is P O plus O n. which is equal to R plus A cos theta. Similarly, B p will be approximately equal to P m which is equal to R minus A cos theta. You can see this distance will be equal to this minus this. So, R minus A cos theta. So, my equation 1 will become V is equal to of course, I can take k q outside 1 by b p I can write first then minus of 1 by a p. So, 1 by b p is what? 1 upon r minus a cos theta minus of a p 1 by a p. What is a p? 1 upon r plus a cos theta. Just solve it further. So, this is equal to k q r plus a cos theta minus r plus a cos theta upon r square minus a square cos square theta. So, this so this and this will get cancelled. So, v is equal to k q 2 a cos theta upon r square minus a square cos square theta. What is this quantity? In the previous class we have done it, this is electric dipole. So, I can write V is equal to k p cos theta upon r square minus a square cos square theta. So, this we have taken at any point p which is making an angle theta with the dipole. So, now let us assume the two special cases which we have done it for the electric field that is on an axial line. So, first case is on if I the point p is on the axis what will become to theta this point will come somewhere here. So, what is the angle theta is 0. So, when theta is 0 just calculate v will be. So, this is your axial line. This will be equal to k p upon r square minus a square. Now, if it is on the equatorial line, what is theta? It is 90. So, cos 90 is 0. So, the whole term becomes 0. So, what is the potential at any point on the equatorial line? It will be always 0. So, let us write on equatorial theta is equal to 90. So, V of equatorial is equal to 0. So, this is a very important topic which they often ask for the exam that is we have calculated a potential at any point due to electric dipole. Now, let us see a very important topic equipotential surface. From the word itself it is very clear we are taking a surface where the potential is same. If I just take a charge, a point charge, suppose if you see how will you draw the electric lines of force it will be radially out. Suppose if I just as take a point P, we have some potential say V. Now, if I take another point here with the same radius, 
you will see that the potential will be same because the distance from the charge body is same. So, if I just join you will see that if you take any point on this surface the potential will be same. So, this is a equipotential surface. Now, even I can take so if I just take a point charge if I ask you how many equipotential surfaces you can draw it will be infinite it will be a spherical shells you will have. So, this particular uh, shell will have some potential you can even consider suppose if I just consider another shell again this particular shell will have a same potential. So, if you want to bring suppose I have a unit charge if I want to bring suppose I am taking a two points on the equipotential surface say A and B. Suppose now if I want to bring a unit charge from point A to B on the same surface now tell me whether we have to do the work in order to bring that unit positive charge from A to B. No, we do not have to do because their potentials are same. So, the work done will be what? 0. So, work done is equal to force into displacement say dx. So, here since it is 0, so it is going to be what? It is a dot product cos of 90. It means that the and f I can write if I am just taking a unit charge it is equal to instead of f I can write e it means that the electric field will be perpendicular to the equipotential surface. Similarly, we can do it for a suppose we have a system of two charges how we can have a equipotential surface. Similarly, we can have a dipole we see how we can have a equipotential surface for a dipole. So, let us see for equipotential surface for a system of two positive charges. Just take it. So, how first always you should draw the electric lines of force. Suppose if I am just taking this side it will be away. So, how you will draw an electric lines of force there will be repulsive force. So, it will be the lines of force will be this way. Similarly, we can draw this side also. Now, let us draw this is a whole system it will be crowded in this region and it will be the equipotential surfaces will be slightly far away because here the, the electric field is very less here whereas here it is more because the lines are crowded here. So, if I want to draw an equipotential surface on this system how I will draw? Similarly, this side also I can draw. So, I have drawn a spheres, but you will see that the centers are not same. If you see here, this distance, this is a one particular potential uh, equipotential surface, this distance is more, whereas this side it is less. Why? because here the field is less whereas here the field is small. So, it is just slightly shifted towards this. So, this is a how we draw a equipotential surfaces for a two like charges. Now, let us assume for a dipole for a dipole how we can draw it let us see and tell me what will be the difference between the two. So, first draw a lines of force it will be so for here it is moving away it is coming inside so you can draw many lines of force
you know, let us draw an Et potential surface. So, again if you just consider a single charge it is going to be a sphere. So, of course, here it will be sphere only, but it will be shifted where the electric field is crowded there the equipotential surfaces will be close. So, here the electric field in this case the electric field is more stronger between the system whereas here in this case it was very weak it was going away it was strong here that is why they are close here. So, how I should draw it? It should be So, like that you can go on drawing it. So, here it is far, but here it is closed. Now, same way if we have a uniform electric field, what will be the equipotential surfaces? Let us draw. So, the equipotential surfaces will be. will be just a parallel planes you will have. There will be number of such planes. So, if you just consider any point on one particular plane the equipotential surface will be same. Say this is my V 1 and this is my V 2. The direction of the electric field is this. So, can you tell me which the, where the potential will be uh, more whether the V 1. So, any point on this plane will have a potential V 1. Whereas, any point on this particular way, uh, plane it will be V 2. Now, tell me which will be greater V 1 or V 2? V 1 will be greater than V 2. So, in this way we have seen it how to draw uh, equipotential surfaces and we have seen what is a potential and the potential difference. So, in the next class we will be continuing with a topic capacitors. Thank you.